Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going to do a reaction video. This is in reaction to a video that was posted by a YouTuber known as Courtney Ryan. Um, she actually does videos kind of similar to this channel where it's about just uh, social content and whatnot like that in terms of you know, the dating scene or just other things to be aware of. And uh, I'm going to put the link in the description down below to the video that I am talking about. And Essentially, what she was doing was having a reaction video off of another person. I'm not too sure where that content was from, so I'm just going to list it as from Courtney Ryan's video. But essentially, it was a female who was uh, posted on social media about her experience where she had seen a guy who I believe walked into a store. Um, I think it was like a coffee store or something of that, a cafe or something of that sort. She was sitting down. And the guy, she saw him and thought that he looked very attractive. He then got up to go sit near her, but didn't say anything. And she said that she tried to give some kind of subtle hints, uh, you know, uh, kind of looking at him in a certain way, hoping that he would, you know, react. And then he didn't. And, you know, the lady couldn't understand why is it that, you know, he didn't pick up on the signal. And, uh, you know, and I actually seen uh, others who commented on that, that thing as well. And I wanted to kind of, throw a little bit of my knowledge into that. So <clears throat> as far as today goes in the modern times, 2024, the tail end of 2024, I don't think that, well, one, I, th I think we're not in a place anymore where, you know, men are going to necessarily approach because they don't, they don't know how to read these vague signals because they're not um, really, I'm going to say straight out and be blunt. They're not mature signals, you know, a mature signal is just letting someone know, hey, listen, like I want to talk to you, either say something to them back or whatever the case is, or you start the conversation. You don't sit there and hope like a someone who's in, you know, um, elementary school or high school or something like I hope this person likes me. Um, you know, I hope that they happen to say something to me, but I'm not going to say anything to them. And even back then, way back in the days, people wrote a letter to each other. like, Hey, do you like me? Circle yes or no, which is even way more straightforward than what you have today. So once someone is over the age, we'll say of 18, you're not in school anymore. I don't care whether you're a woman or a man, you wanting someone to talk to you and you're hoping they're going to pick up on some random signals. is just a very immature way to think that, you know, um, kind of playing that dating game. In addition to that, in today's modern age with the Me Too movement and with women always saying like, I don't want guys to approach me. And the truth is everyone knows that when women say that they only want guys they're attracted to to approach them and not guys they're unattracted to to approach them. Essentially, we're at a place where as much as uh, you know, women may not like the fact that um, you know, they don't want to have to be the one to approach men, we're at a space now where it just really makes sense, um, especially when women reject men by large quantities. And back in the days, I don't think that that was done as much because generally speaking, if a guy was nice and approached you respectfully, uh, he was at least given a chance to be heard out, maybe have a conversation and whatever the case is. Now we're at the age where everything is so superficial and shallow that if someone just doesn't like the way you look, they don't want to hear you talk to them or you're not trending to them in some kind of way. Um, you know, and I mean that in the sense, like maybe you're, you have, you're wearing a certain type of gear, you're, you look that that part that looks up to, to trends, you know, whatever it is. Maybe you got some headphones, big headphones on your ears, and that's the trend right now. You're wearing some certain type of clothes, and that's the trend right now. Whatever it is, the point is, is that um, these are things that will get you disqualified. And now that we're in a time frame where people will disqualify you for the smallest thing, it has evolved to a point where it really just doesn't make sense for a person to put themselves out there if you're unsure that that person's interested in you. Now, that guy may not have been interested in her at all. Uh, in that case, it would just make sense for the woman, the main person who is going to be doing the rejecting or the accepting to be the one to talk. So those kind of ways of putting out, quote unquote, um, you know, signals in this kind of age, this day and age, just you got to be mature about it. Um, and this is really speaking to the women because obviously the guy didn't lose out. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't lose out. He probably wasn't even interested at all anyway. And at that case, there's no point in someone saying, why didn't he do it when maybe he wasn't interested? And if he's not interested or less interested, then it's on the woman to show the interest because to get his interest the same way a man would have to do if he's chasing a woman. 
And this is really just a message to all the women out there. Do not wait for someone to come up to you, especially the person that you like, because, you know, let's break this down on a, a, um, on a psychological level in terms of how someone's going to select somebody and what they're going to be thinking in their head. Nine times out of 10 nowadays, since women usually kind of go after only the men that are extremely attractive, extremely like, you know, uh, just looking at them, they look successful, they look on point, they look this and that. Not even the average guy, average woman will not take an average guy in this day and age. Essentially, what that means for women is that that guy who is on the top, maybe the top 20% of men, he's not going to even be interested. And um, he's not even going to be even interested, most likely, in you. And I say that to say, not at least not right off the bat, you're going to have to do what most men do, which is put yourself out there. You're going to have to actually acknowledge him and, and try to talk to him yourself. Because if you're looking at that kind of man, he's never going to just look at you because most likely he has so many options and people that are already talking to him who are comfortable talking to him because they're in a comfortable space with him, whether that's They see him on his train ride to work every day, his bus ride to work every day. Maybe when he goes for breakfast every day, maybe he drives and he goes to the same space for breakfast. Maybe the people who see him outside of his job, maybe the people in his job, those people who have access to that type of guy and they are comfortable enough because they have access. So they're comfortable enough to have a casual conversation, which then leads to, you know, maybe them asking him out, whatever the case is, or saying, hey, let's go out for drinks or even just creating a comfortable zone for him to feel comfortable and create an interest for him where maybe if he wasn't interested, he's now interested because that comfort has been created and he axes them out. The point is you don't have access to that, that lane. So for that reason, you have to realize it's up to you to say, I got to create that lane by moving forward and saying something to the stranger that doesn't know me. So if you are a woman and you are a there's a guy you see that you're attracted to nine times out of 10, the way women have evolved now, the only way you're going to get access to that guy that you're attracted to, because he's usually way above is you got to talk to him. And that's just the reality of it. Otherwise, the only people who are going to approach you are the guys that you probably are not attracted to, uh, which even that is starting to slim down because guys are starting to realize that since women are unapproachable, there's no point to approach them at all. Um, especially when you realize that it's not going to go anywhere. What's the point in validating somebody that it's not going to go anywhere? Um, so that's a little just food for thought, me commenting on that a little sidebar. I think it won't be long until we get to a point in time where, <clears throat> especially with technology and this and that, where, you know, we might get to a place where, uh, nobody talks to anybody, uh, you know, on the street or in some kind of environment like that, that we have things on our phones that might ping to let someone know like, Hey, this person is available and interested. Are you willing to talk to them? Almost bringing that social environment, like a club to the streets in the sense of, of saying like, you're wearing something. And I use that term just quoting like, you know, air quotes, like, you know, whether it's on your phone, so not, you're not necessarily wearing it, but you know, roll with me here. You're wearing something that notifies someone else passing by, hey, I'm available and looking to talk. Are you looking to talk as well? And then they kind of kind of match with you in some kind of sense, however that will work, to let that know that that's okay. And in that case, um, you know, it would be some kind of thing where you're going to lose that whole process of people approaching people. And I think that a lot of people love that sense because especially women will love that sense because it gives this sense of validation. Like, okay, this many men approach me today, it gives a sense of validation. But once you start losing that, you're losing the element. And that's going to get lost because if no one's, uh, if the fish aren't biting, so to speak, then no one's going to keep fishing. So a little bit of food for thought. I just wanted to give my comments on that with you guys. As always, you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, be safe out there, and I'll catch you guys 